Welcome back to Political News in Full. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi attended Eid al-Fitr celebration with families of armed forces and police martyrs on Wednesday. During the celebration, President Sisi honored and saluted the martyr's sons. The head of state further shared the kids their happiness with Eid al-Fitr offered them gifts and had a photo with them. The president watched a documentary film on memories and features of Eid with famous artists expressing gratitude to martyr souls. The celebration included an artistic show which was performed by a number of singers. Earlier in the day, President Sisi attended Eid al-Fitr prayers at the Mosque Mosque at the Islamic Cultural Center in the new administrative capital. The president was accompanied by a number of senior state officials. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a phone call with Bahraini King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa on Wednesday. During their telephone conversation, the two leaders exchanged Eid greetings, wishing prosperity, security and stability for the Arab and Muslim nations. Also on Wednesday, President Sisi held other phone calls with Iraqi President Abdul Latif Rashid and Jordanian monarch Abdullah II. Earlier, President al-Sisi had phone talks with United Arab Emirates President Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, Algerian President Abdul Majid Taboon, Tunisian President Qais Saeed, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, Kuwait's Emir Sheikh Mishal al-Gaber al-Subah, Qatar's Emir Tamim bin Hamad al-Thaini, and Head of Sudan's Sovereignty Council Abdul Fattah al-Burhan. Meanwhile, the president received a phone call from Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Sudani. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi exchanged congratulatory messages with kings, presidents and emirs of Arab and Muslim nations on the occasion marking Eid al-Fitr or the Lesser Bayram. In his messages, President Sisi expressed his wishes for the Arab and Muslim leaders and their peoples with good health, prosperity, progress and stability. Meanwhile, the head of state sent other cables of congratulations to Egyptian embassies, consulates and expatriates, wishing them all success and progress. The president also received congratulatory messages from senior state officials who expressed their sincere wishes for him with good health and for Egypt with more prosperity and progress. As Egypt began its three-day celebrations with the Lesser Bayram on Wednesday, the Ministry of Interior completed its preparations to secure celebrations of Eid al-Fitr nationwide. All sectors of the Ministry of Interior participate in implementing security plans in parks, important facilities, places of worship, access squares and main roads to make sure that people enjoy Eid al-Fitr festivities in an atmosphere full of happiness and joy. Amid Egypt's efforts to alleviate the suffering of Palestinian brothers in Gaza Strip, Egypt's air force continued to airdrop humanitarian aid on the besieged territory. Meanwhile, 73 aid trucks entered the Strip through the Rafah crossing, while 273 aid trucks entered Gaza through Karam Abdul Salam crossing on Wednesday. Also, the Egyptian side of the Rafah border crossing received 35 Palestinian patients who were moved out of the enclave for treatment abroad along with 64 others who accompanied them. <coughs>